So for quite a while, Etihad have been struggling in terms of finances and also their load factor, to the point where they've made a loss of around $3 billion for both 2016 and 2017 combined. Now many factors are to be considered when talking about the troubles of Abu Dhabi's national carrier, but it's not right to pinpoint their troubles to a single attribute because, as we already know, aviation is a complex maze and only by studying deeply will you realise the full picture. Now this video is not to talk about their troubles, but the potential realisation that the airline may no longer need the Airbus A380. Now we know that the Gulf carriers have a love obsession for the A380, especially Emirates. But according to recent reports, even they are considering deferring their order and even cancelling it altogether. Nevertheless, it served as a main workhorse for the Gulf carriers, helping them to accommodate demand on heavy routes and also slot congested airports. Now Emirates has 105 of the A380s, Qatar Airways has 10 and the focus of this video, Etihad, they also have 10. Now as I stated in the beginning of the video, they made a cumulative loss of around $3 billion dating back to 2016. Now one of the main factors for this is due to rising fuel prices. We're no longer living in a time where the price of fuel was low and it flowed like the rivers. Even the Gulf carriers are feeling the pinch and if you don't hedge your fuel, which I feel Etihad may not have done, then it can eat into your finances. Also, there are investments in airlines such as Alitalia, Air Berlin, Jet Airways and Air Serbia haven't resulted a good return on their investment. The struggling airlines have received help from Etihad, which has also resulted in their own loss. Now, due to a few bad investment decisions and some of the factors that we've talked about, fresh news from recent days have suggested that they're seriously considering cancelling their 777X and also a substantial chunk of their A350 order with Airbus. Now, the possibility of the airline merging with Emirates is quite likely, and after talking to a few analysts in the industry, conversations between the two airlines is currently happening. They just don't want worldwide media attention. But the immediate problems need to be dealt with, and for every hour you fly the A380, it costs you around $27,000. Scaling back on their fleet to a smaller and more fuel efficient aircraft will help them maintain their running costs. Their load factor has also taken a beating, falling to 79%. Now, the average load factor for a well maintained airline is between the region of 81 and 87%. And if you compare that to Ryanair, who has a load factor of 94%, that's a significant decline. So, will the problems of Etihad lessen if they take the A380 out of the picture? Well, you can think of it two ways. On one hand, they will reduce the cost needed to fly and maintain the beast. But on the other hand, due to large capacity, it will continue to help them tackle high density markets. But that's only the case if they are able to fill every single flight. And after looking at their load factor, the numbers suggest otherwise. So with a load factor of 79% on the biggest commercial plane, that's well over hundreds of empty seats on every single flight. Now we don't know the full picture, nor do we have all of the information. But I for one don't want to see Etihad go down. But if they seriously want to reduce their problems and be profitable again, then perhaps reconsidering the A380 could be a good option, at least for the short while. So captains, I hand this over to you guys. Do you think Etihad should retire the A380, or do you think it's beneficial for the airline, or do you think it's beneficial for the airline to help them with their problems? Share your opinions in the comments below guys. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.